This is a really special place for all kinds of reasons and I, I think one of them is because um, of the way that, that we treat the people that come in for services. The, the way we talk to them on the telephone, the way we deal with each other as staff people. Every individual is really important and of, of great value. That everyone has an identity and everyone is recognized for who they are, where they came from and where they're going to. That's how we approach service in terms of customizing service delivery, listening to what people's real situations are, being responsive, creative. The staff actually go out of their way when I come in to have conversations because we have great conversations. They talk to us like best friends. They talk to us like uh, advisors. A great sort of friendship kind of communication there that um, isn't as, uh, say, sterile as some, uh, some similar environments might be. The first thing that people need to feel is a sense that there is hope. There are choices that can be made that can make life better. And then what we do is work with people to help them find those, those, those choices and those options. I retired early uh, because of my accident at, at the job site and I, I don't receive a big pension, uh, so is my wife. So we, we appreciate the help from a Jewish family service. I was in an incredibly difficult situation in my life and uh, yeah, to be honest, I don't know if I would have uh, even survived it at all. In the situation I was in, it was important to uh, have somebody to talk to immediately and regularly and um, I didn't have that anywhere else. We don't put people on long waiting lists. We find other ways to arrange our work that we can respond to needs on a priority basis. I'm just lucky I found these people in time. Well, when I first came here, I was very suicidal and I'm not suicidal anymore. I'm not depressed. I see positives in my life. I go out more. Every time I leave my appointments, I feel a hundred times better. It's just so uplifting. It's a positive thing coming here. It's it's a warm feeling. There is still a stigma attached to seeking help. And the truth of the matter is that anybody at any time in their lives might need a helping hand. We all encounter obstacles. And so the services that we deliver uh, attempt to respond to the various obstacles that people experience in their lives. I arrived 10 years ago to Canada. Um, and I was, I was, I'm a client since then. I was helped in many ways along these years. I volunteered a little bit too uh, to try and pay back for, the, for all the goods that I received. If you speak to an immigrant and ask them what's it like and what was it like, what you'll hear is loss. If I have to imagine my life, my, my 10 years here, without the program in it, so if it would be a colorful line, there would be black holes, you know. I received help with filling papers for, for immigration, help uh, understanding Canadian culture, um, understanding ca Canadian bureaucracy. I was empowered a lot by this program. We have the uh, Holocaust Survivor Program, which is an enormous program with about 120 survivors in it. Although they lost lots of family during the war, there are new generations that they're coming that are coming up, and they don't want them to forget what they left behind but they want them to be a part of what potential they have for the future. We talk about being informed by Jewish values and I do believe that we work differently than most settlement agencies if we're talking about my program. Um, it's a very warm environment and we have a certain integrity that we're proud of. I would come at that from the approach of tikkun olam, which means healing the world or repairing the world. It's a Jewish value to be concerned about taking care of Jewish people. It's a Jewish value also to take care of the whole world that we live in. It seems to me that caring for the broader community is just something that we're supposed to do and it was actually accomplished at Jewish Family Services. We have a responsibility as an agency to help uh, build a better world in a whole variety of ways. And one of the ways that we do that is to 
train other people. Uh, we, we take in, um, in field placement students who will then go out into many other workplaces in the community and uh, hopefully we influence their professional development that they will also carry those same values. We have a pretty excellent reputation out in the community. We get referrals from other agencies and the reason for that is because the, the, the quality of the work that we do ha has become fairly well known. United Jewish Appeal, um, the United Way is a, is a huge supporter of us, family community support services and of course donors and organizations from throughout the community. With those kinds of resources it enables us to provide subsidized services for people that can't uh, otherwise afford to, to receive them. There are all those values that are added by the way that we do our work and I think that's tremendous value to donors who can feel that when they give money to Jewish Family Services they're becoming part of that whole network uh, throughout the whole community that is helping make real changes and sustain changes for people in a variety of ways.